Yes, I'm here again for another beautiful time. It is Spot Rush Live on your screen on this beautiful day. It is Monday and you know how we do it. Well, my name is Ramsey Enoch and of course, let's get to the world of sport and see what is happening. Zavi's time as Barcelona's boss came to an end with a 2-1 win at Sevilla in the final La Liga game of the season. Well, a lot of people never saw that coming, but then it has happened and it has actually happened. Barcelona, we are already guaranteed uh, to finish second in the La Liga behind the champions are Real Madrid, while Sevilla end the season in 14th position. Well, uh, from the look of things, uh, you already know that um, they were actually going to end in that position and they have ended on the 14th position. Uh, former Spain midfielder talking about uh, Xavi said in January that... Um, he was already going to leave, but now it is not news anymore that he is already had a swell time. If you ask me, that's what I will say. And he is leaving uh, the Noah camp, uh, but was persuaded to stay by club president talking about uh, Joan Laporta in April or as he would have gone. But now this is the time for him to leave. And I will always tell people it's better to leave when the ovation is high. But what do you think? Him leaving, is it a good one or you feel the club will suffer? Because for the owner to actually ask him to stay when he wanted leaving, there must be a reason for that. Moving away from there. Southampton is where I want to go to right now. You all are familiar with what happened in Southampton as they beat Leeds uh, in the championship uh, playoff final to secure an immediate return. I think it was a very good one. Immediate return uh, uh, to the Premier League and uh, the £140 million pounds, uh, go with it too. So it is a good one. If you ask me, they are returning back again and um, you know what it means for them to return and you know how people have been expecting them to return back uh, to the Premier League. Premier League is one league that a lot of clubs, a lot of um, uh, fans and a lot of players want to have a feel and a taste of. And I think it's a good one that it is happening for them at this time. Uh, since 11 years spell in the top flight came to an end after a wretched campaign last uh, time out. Uh, I call it a wretched campaign last time out. Well, it is a timeout. It is a timeout because uh, despite uh, finishing uh, one place and three points are behind Leeds uh, in the fourth, it is uh, they who join uh, Leicester uh, City and uh, Ipswich in going up. Then moving away from there, let me go to other stories happening from the water sport. Like I said, it is Sport Rush and it is a beautiful day. And I'm going to be bringing you to speed to some other things. And now I'm moving to uh, what is actually happening at uh, Paris Saint-Germain as they beat Lyon 2-1. In Saturday's uh, French Cup final, as uh, Kylian Mbappe cap his uh, uh, last appearance uh, for the club. He is already set to leave. Uh, some persons were actually beat. Uh, but then uh, this is his time to leave and he is leaving. I think um, that's one of the things that is constant in football. You don't stay in one place. They keep moving uh, in as much as uh, where they are going to is of good interest to them. And Kellyan Mpape made his uh, uh, last appearance uh, for the club with another piece of silverware. And that's a good thing because uh, a silverware is involved. The superstar forward uh, was playing uh, his final game for PSG uh, before an expected move uh, to Real Madrid. Going to Real Madrid, I think um, it's a good one. But then these are two big clubs. PSG then now to Real Madrid. I don't see that um, as, um, as something that is bad if he is actually moving uh, to Real Madrid. But uh, he was unable to add uh, to his club. That's one thing. The record still remains. He was not able to add to the tally of the 256 goals already that he had uh, with Osman Dembele. And of course, uh, uh, Fabian Ruiz uh, scoring on the night. Those were the guys that got the night. Uh, Kylian Mpape was not on the on the sheet uh, the victory allowed PSG to complete a domestic uh, league uh, and cup uh, double in Luis Enrique's uh, first season as a coach uh, although if you ask me I will tell you that the campaign still remain uh, overshadowed by their exit from the Champions League that's what's actually making round a lot of people never saw that uh, happening uh, well uh, their Champions League exit in the semi-finals against uh, Borussia Dortmund that was another thing they're moving away from there so many 
things happening from the world of uh, sport. Eriton Haga won Manchester United's owner that he will carry on winning trophies elsewhere, even if he is leaving uh, Manchester United. Uh, if they decide to sack him, there is no big deal. No qualms, according to what the Nigerian people will say, because he said, well, I know myself, I will keep winning leagues. I mustn't be here before I win leagues. But then, you know, sometimes uh, when a coach uh, is saying things like that, know that uh, he's about leaving. And even Manchester United are already um, on top of their game too. But then uh, uh, the aftermath uh, on Saturday after the 2-1 victory against Manchester City in the FA Cup uh, final. And then Ten Haga went into the final uh, rocked by what we call reports that he would be uh, dismissed regardless. You know, when you hear that kind of news, there's a way you feel, uh, regardless of the result at Wembley. But United's uh, uh, beleaguered uh, manager made a convincing case to remain all right, in charge as he outwitted City's boss Pep Guardiola to deliver the second trophy of his uh, uh, turbulent two-year reign. This two-year, if you ask me, it has been a very turbulent time for him. But then I think um, this is something uh, because um, sometimes uh, it may not be 100%, but then 70% and even 65 is a pass mark, if you ask me. So uh, whatever happens here, I said, well, if I am not here, wherever I go to, I will still win trophy. It's just like a fish saying, if you put me in any kind of water, I will still swim and make my, my nyanga. It's when you bring a fish out of the water, you will know that uh, it is not really easy uh, for the fish. But then he has said, uh, wherever you take me to, I'm going to be fantastic. I'm going to be doing well. A uh, Burnley manager talking about this and company has agreed a deal in principle to become uh, the new Bayern Munich coach. Uh, the German club uh, move uh, for company after a, a series of uh, rejection in their search uh, for a successor to Thomas Tuchel. Uh, of course, uh, let's see how that is going to go. It is understood that company has agreed a deal until 2027. That's uh, uh, not too long, but then it's a good deal uh, with uh, Bayern set to pay Burnley uh, 10.2 million pounds uh, in compensation. That's a good one. Then uh, moving away from there, before we call it a wrap, we must talk about Nigeria at least. Uh, before we call it a wrap, that's the home from. But then what are we saying about Nigeria? Former England international Peter Crouch uh, has uh, uh, shared his thought on Atlanta attacker. You know who I'm talking about already, Ademola Lukman, the man who made it happen for Atlanta in their recent game, uh, who now plays for the Super Eagles uh, of Nigeria. Well, as a matter of fact, Lukman was uh, born in England, like all of us know, to a Nigerian parent, uh, making him eligible to play for both uh, True Lions and, of course, uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And he chose to represent the Super Eagles as against uh, playing uh, for the True Lions. And a lot of people applauded him and uh, making uh, his debut under Austin Iguavon in uh, the match in 2022. Lokman has uh, spent much of his uh, career in the league, uh, the English league, of course, uh, but struggle at Everton. If you remember his time in Everton back then, it was from one struggle to the other for Ademola Lokman. And some persons were saying, oh, this guy that is playing for the Super Eagles is not performing well because a lot of Nigerians and a lot of fans use your performance in your club to assess you as in playing uh, for your country because uh, a lot of people were thinking uh, he was not going to do well and of course uh, uh, leading to uh, so many load spells before finding his foot at RB Leipzig his performances uh, uh, there uh, caught the attention of Syria as I talking about Atlanta DC where he is right now and he is doing very well scoring three goals in their recent game wasn't moi moi at all it's not Akara and Bread as a matter of fact let me just say that but then I think that was so fantastic uh, for Ademola uh, Luke and of course, uh, let me quickly bring you to speed with uh, the matches that were played from the Nigerian Professional Football League. Uh, that is the major league in Nigeria. Even though some of you don't like watching the Nigerian Professional Football League, NPFL. But then, uh, let me just uh, bring you to speed with uh, the matches that were played over the weekend. As Inyiba International took another step uh, towards their title defense after securing three points against Abia uh, Warriors in Enugu. And uh, of course, uh, Enugu Rangers uh, went uh, uh, four points uh, clear at the top of uh, the league uh, by defeating Bayesa United by three goals. Uh, uh, Hartland returned to winning ways again uh, against uh, Go.
Bombay United. Then moving away from there, uh, there it was a very wonderful game that we played uh, over the weekend from the NPFL, and that match uh, ended uh, with three beautiful goals. Uh, uh, NPFL uh, legends are uh, uh, talking about uh, Rabiu Ali is an uh, NPFL legend because if you look at Rabiu Ali and if you've been following the Nigerian Professional Football League, you will know that Rabiu Ali has been uh, very Rabiu Ali has been very very fantastic. He was the one who scored a brace as a Kano Pillars a trash at Doma United. Uh, Kasina United played a 2-2 uh, draw against our uh, shooting stars. Uh, then Remo Stars also traveled uh, to Quara to take on Quara United, uh, but uh, fell, fell short. They actually fell short with the home side uh, winning 3-2. Uh, you know the home advantage in Nigeria Professional Football League? Well, then they try. 3-2 was how that game ended. Uh, then as a matter of fact, uh, the Sporting Lagos fell to another defeat again uh, from home. Uh, Rivers United put four past uh, the noisy Lagosians. You know you know how Lagosians are. <laughs> I don't know, but then in the print this morning, I, I saw when they wrote a uh, noisy Lagosians and I was like, hey, come on. What are you guys talking about? Uh, they actually lost. Uh, I'm talking about uh, Sporting Lagos. They actually uh, lost. Uh, 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 well, uh, that game. If you if you ask me, uh, I said uh, I can say it was not too bad. But then losing is a losing. Then Rivers United put four past the noisy Lagosians and Lobby Stars lost again to Aqua United. Uh, uh, Sani Suleiman uh, score a brazer for Quara for uh, Aqua United. I beg your pardon. Before uh, Bubakar Ibrahim Aliu uh, put one uh, for Lobby Stars. Lobby Stars are now on a four game uh, winless run and that's not a good one at all. They've been very fantastic and everyone have been praising them but then I don't know what happened. I don't know if they are actually descending. If they are concerned, the sending is not a good one. They need to go up. Uh, it, it's supposed to be a forward ever and backward never. That's going to be the size of uh, the sport rush today on this beautiful uh, Monday morning. I'm taking a bow. I'll return again and that's going to be on Wednesday when I'll bring you to speed with other things happening from the world of sport. My name is MC Ramsey. Have a wonderful week ahead of you and uh, I want to say bye-bye for now.